wanna know his secret? What is up guys, Grenader here, welcome to the video, and as you saw, we're going to be working with color correction today, and I wanted to make a video about this, but I wanted to make a video that was basic, so in other words, you don't need to download, or you don't have to download any plugins or any crazy stuff like that, you don't have to buy Magic Bullet to make cool awesome color correction things you just simply have to play around with after effects and me personally i'd rather do the non magic bullet thing and i'd rather just um design it myself and make my own color correction so welcome to episode two of after effect tutorials and if you missed the first episode it's linked down below or you can click on the annotation on the screen if you want to go watch it it was about a cc lens effect so if you want to go check that out please do or just stay tuned to this video without any further ado let's uh open up after effects i should have opened it pre-recording but you know it's whatever you know you we, we make mistakes and we come back from it so now that it's loaded up uh now we want to create a new fra uh, bu 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 yeah new file and then we're going to create a new composition make sure that everything is set we're gonna do 59.94 i don't know why it was at like 59.8 something but anyways um i'm going to import a clip or a trick shot from the um, clip pack thing if you don't have that make sure to go get it or if you already have your own clip then so be it and if you're interested in the clip pack um, i'll link the video down or the first episode i did that's where i linked the clip pack so you can go follow that link and then get to the link and though it's kind of complicated but that's how it works so anyways i'm going to drag the video into the time frame and i'm just going to pick a spot where the there's no action it's like right here there's no action there just it's just kind of kind of stale you know he's just standing there so now what we're going to do is we're going to add a adjustment layer and you can do that by hitting control alt y or you can go up here to the layer and new and adjustment layer so what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the effect and presets tab we're going to click on color correction and we want to find curves now you can drag this on to the clip itself or you can drag it on to the layer i like to drag it onto the layer just to make sure that it's on the layer that i want it to be so now what we're going to do is we're going to basically just make a curve and this is basically going to darken the um the clip so now that it's darkened we want to add a color correction or a color offset so if you go to cc you should see cc color offset and you just drag it on to the adjustment layer again um, this time i want to put this on top so that way it, everything's in order and what we're going to do here is we're just going to move this knob a little bit so not too much 45 is perfect and we're just going to leave it as a red um, background and keep in mind you can play around with this you don't have to necessarily use the red phase you can use a green phase you can use a blue phase just kind of play with it so I'm going to put these at zero because I don't want it to switch. I'm going to put this at 45 so it's red. And then after that, I'm going to add CC toner. And I'm just going to drag that on top. And as you can see, this black line shows you where it's going to go. You make sure it's on top. And you want to change this to duotone. And duotone is basically just letting you do highlights and shadows. So um, for the highlights, you want to do a bluish color like so not too blue but not 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 blue you know what i'm saying so after that we want to go to shadows and change it to like a dark blue blue like a dark dark blue like that and now what we're going to do to offset this nasty blue thing is we're going to increase the blend with original so um we go like about 70 ish not past 70 but just 74 will suffice right there and now you got this cool looking thing that um looks all right 
but I want to go a step further and add a vignette. A vignette, I think I'm saying it right. Um, it's basically like a shadow around the clip. So let me show you so that you can see what I'm talking about. And you're going to have to add an exposure. But before you do, let's uh, do this on a separate layer. So Control Alt Y or add a new adjustment layer. And you're going to add the exposure to its own layer. Now what we're going to do here is a little bit complicated and intricate, but we'll get through it. So what I'm going to do is basically hang on. Okay, so I'm back. I was really interrupted. And now that we're back, we left off on the exposure. So we want to go back because if you go back, you will notice how dark the scene looks, right? And if you go up, it's really bright. So you can either go bright if you want to do an over edit. But for this example, I'm going to go back just a little bit. So you get that vignette or vignette, whatever you want to call it, effect. So I'm going to leave it at 2.0. 11 I guess um, you can go even further to 35 just kind of depends on your style of editing but I'm just gonna do just a light shadow which will stay right there and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a mask so a mask is basically just going to select a certain area so you go up here to this tool the ellipse tool and you make sure you click ellipse tool not rectangle cool tool tool cool I don't know ellipse tool and now you want to go down here where um, you have this choose grid and guide options and you want to click title save. Now um, the way I make my vignettes is basically going from the top left corner to the bottom right corner. So that way you get a perfect oval. So just kind of guesstimate that and then just drag it on over to drag your cursor over to the bottom right corner of the safe title. And now what you want to do is you want to come down here and click on invert and it should look just like this now it looks kind of messed up if you click off of it because it's kind of sharp so what we're going to do is we're just going to feather the um the mask so we're going to go down here and we're basically just going to feather it to where it's not a harsh line anymore now it's more of a feather like so so you can just keep on increasing the feather as you wish as you can see kind of just blurs out like that and the mask opacity we can turn down just a tad as you, as you can see if you turn it all the way down nothing is there but as you turn it up you can see the intensity of it and we just want a light shadow on it so I'm gonna change this to 50% opacity and I like the way it looks it's a shadow it's not over the top shadow like that and that is basically it um, as far as the colors con um, co colors are concerned sorry for the freaking stuttering I don't know why but you can go over here to the the curves and you can just play around with the colors if you want more of a blue scene you can dial down on the red um, if you want a different color you can go to the green and you can just um, just kind of shift it like so if you want more of a like a invasion type thing and if you want you can come to the blue and you can lower this bottom side for more of a hardcore um, montage looking thing and you know it's just a matter of playing around with the settings in um, After Effects and you can really make some pretty cool things if you kind of just play around with it you know sometimes you'll get things that just don't look right and sometimes you just get some things that you're like wow that looks pretty good I don't know how I got that so um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video there's not much to it it's pretty easy as long as you add these three things that I have on this adjustment layer you're fine um, if you want to you can go a step further and you can add Control alt y basically another adjustment layer add a hue and saturation and you can basically just kind of change the color of things if that's your style of editing. I don't know. Maybe you guys like that. Um, just uh, play around with After Effects. Add the add a bunch of filters to it, or not filters, but effects. And sometimes the right combinations of effects gets you pretty 
cool results so that is pretty much it guys thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video you know what to do this is grenader signing off and if there's a specific tutorial you want to see let me know because every tuesday i'll be posting an after effects tutorial so if you want to see a particular tutorial let me know in the comments down below and show some love by slapping that like button subscribing and all that good stuff but like i said you guys know what to do regarding with that stuff this is grenader signing off peace